That was not a joke. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm just trying to make Rhymes. lyrics. <laughs> lyrics to songs. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes. All right, friends. Welcome back to the 150th, 150th yeah, episode of the Sketchbook Heroes podcast with me, Ilias. And me, Robert. And today we nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Nails. <laughs> Once every 50th episode. Exactly, in 150 episodes. Yeah, God it's damn. crazy. Yep, it oh. is. It is, it is, it is. And today we're going to talk about being creative during your summer vacation. Summer, summer, yeah. summer time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank yep. you for adding some feel to the whole thing. <clears throat> That's how you don't get And sued. this is a summer episode, so short, be short sweet. sweet, and nice. And brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how you been? <laughs> I've been good. I've been good. Uh, We've just had Midsummer's Eve celebration thingy majiggy. Mm-hmm. So what you do? Just hung out with another family. It's been our tenth year celebrating together. So we have these, you know, like fem camp where we battle each other on Fight different battle exactly. And <laughs> we had, uh, you know, we had archery. We had. Fuck, I don't even know what we had. Badminton, we had... Toss a midget. <laughs> you know, we had a toss a boot. Toss a boot. Oh, Backwards, yeah. you know. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's a Finnish thing. Yeah, actually. and then we had, like, <clears throat> this uni-ski where everyone... It has, like, latches for everyone for, like, up to six people, I think. <laughs> and you had to, like, coordinate and walk together, you oh, know, okay. the fastest time across the field. Jesus, won. that's so advanced. Yes, it was, but it was... <laughs> Put together like it was a piece of wood with duct tape oh, no as, way. you know, straps. Uh, so we had that. And then we had, you know, like trying to keep like as a family, you have to keep a ball up in the air for the, you know, longest time. Like so the the, the longest amount of kicks and, you know, so that's what we were kind of the thing we played when well, we were well at. practiced. Yes. <clears throat> uh, we won, of course, of the course. whole thing. But also that <laughs> we also won the archery. Because, Ooh. yep, I have no idea. We, it was a kid's compound bow. Oh, so yeah. So it's like, it's impossible to hold correctly. <laughs> but you could also, uh, what do you call it when you actually... Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. But it's a compound bow. So once you get past the sort of like the... the, the oh, yeah, the, certain the point, spring sort yeah, of... Release, yeah, exactly. It'll, so it's, it's it becomes easier. easier, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is the aim thing doesn't work on that bow. It's not calibrated. Ah. Uh, so you had to use the arrow as the... The force. Of, no, 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 the, the aim. Use the force. Use the force. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We hung around there to almost midnight, and then we went home. Fantastic. Because you know, I don't drink, so I could drive. Yeah. So smart. <clears throat> we it should was hang awesome. out. We should hang out more. <laughs> we should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't fit in my car. Uh, <laughs> eh. <laughs> I'm when bad. I'm drunk, I fit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. Okay. Yeah. So what did you do, buddy? Uh, well, I premiered Midsummer's away from my family. I think this is probably one of the first times I've ever been not with my, my peeps. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I went with Santa and celebrated with her family at their like summer cottage. And, uh, I was the first one to fucking pass out and fall asleep. That is such a noob thing for you. Yes. But you never do this. This is the thing. <laughs> Cause I was like. I'd been hyping this so much <laughs> up until this point where I'm like, they don't have near enough alcohol for me to be here. And uh, yeah, like three beers in, I'm already feeling super woozy and like almost slurring. Like it was just like I had no food in my belly at all. <laughs> and just like, you know, the sun was just gushing and yeah. Oh man, I just see you like the... the uh Will Ferrell in um, old school, old school, yeah, yeah, with the dark, you know, like, <laughs> you know crazy man. I love you, but you're crazy. But you're crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of what I felt like. No, but up until the point where I kind of fell asleep, just sitting there, <laughs> mm -hmm. where Santa was just like, "Do you do you want to go to bed, Rob?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I want to go to bed." <laughs> <laughs> she just sort of pulled me to bed. <laughs> so sad. 
But no, everybody was like, is he okay? Does he normally do this? And she's like, no, this is like the first time I think in his entire history. (laughs) (laughs) This is not normal. (laughs) So they were like a little bit worried, to be honest. But no, I was just so exhausted. The week up until midsummers was like super hectic. I just, yeah, didn't sleep enough, I guess. And then mistiming alcohol and food that entire day, a lot of sun. Yeah, it was steamy. Swedish midsummer. <laughs> Dude, it was like the sun wasn't out in the way that you'd think. It was just like yep. like the the was, what do you call it? The quaffed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean like the when the humidity? Humidity, thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah, it was high. Yeah. Like it was That shit was spiking. Yep. yep. <clears throat> and and the like the constant heat without the sun, but then the sun did look out. Yeah. Like every now and then. Yeah, exactly. It was just, you know, like you were just sweating. Mm -hmm. No, I couldn't. So we didn't do any of that sort of fight battle Mm -hmm. or anything like that. They normally do with their neighbors and stuff in the the area. But because of COVID, they're like being careful. Mm -hmm. So it's just like the close family. Um, But yeah, so we didn't have any competitions or do any activities. It was just eating and drinking. And, you know, you just sit down in the sun all day. You're going to get woozy just from sitting down. Like, you don't even have to drink alcohol. So, but yeah. But apart from that, it was, like, a lot of fun. Um, I love Santa's family. They're all great. And some neighbors sort of just pop by to say hi. And they were also really nice and fun. Very cool. Yeah. So it was, like, very quiet and chill this whole week. Uh, Weekend, not this week. Fuck. Hated this week. <laughs> <laughs> and with that said, thank you for listening. As always, thank you to Underwerket for this awesome studio, the chairs and mm-hmm. the tables, and well, not the table so much. No, because the table it, is a bit flimsy. But yeah. <laughs> definitely the Christmas tree. But the Christmas tree. Yes. <laughs> and also, thank you all that are you know writing on Discord and insulting each other and being nice to each other. You know all of it. Yes. Uh, also, big thank you for everyone that shares the podcast each week on their social media and, you know, keep us alive. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you got to start using, we got to promote the hashtag, hashtag at Sketchbook Heroes on all the platforms so we can see the stuff. I'm like, do people use it? <clears throat> is that a thing? People do use it. <clears throat> I think Artem is like leading. <laughs> <laughs> he's got every top. Post. Every yeah, <laughs> he's just everywhere. So awesome. let's all try to beat Artem. Yes, he's a printer. It takes like twenty of us to beat him. Yeah, at least <laughs> on a good like, week. <laughs> like, that's not nearly enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he posts every day. <laughs> like it is impossible. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah help us. Like, you know, space up the the the, the hashtag yeah. with some non Artem stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Take over the hashtag. Yeah. So hashtag yeah. at Sketchbook Heroes. And if you have any other complaints about the show, you can send them to we don't care at sketchbookheroes dot com. You heard it here. I'm not gonna repeat it. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And with that said, let's swooshly swoosh into this swoosh. week's awesome topic that we totally made up just now. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> like what? Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. happening we're Man. back that's what's happening oh my god so exciting <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this uh this week we did not give you a heads up about the topic so what's the topic 
topic is what the fuck are you going to do during vacation time? No. Hey, and we're just going to solve that all for you. Yep. You By are welcome. not solving it and talking about what we're going to do <laughs> during vacation. Exactly. Uh, and I think vacation looks a bit differently depending on where you're coming from. Because in the U.S., you get like two weeks of vacation. Like in your whole life. Yes, yes. exactly. So maybe one day. So if we're working a full <laughs> year, you get two weeks off. That's insane. That is insane. In Sweden, you get, I think you have the right to at least four, but you usually get five, five. as yeah. far as I know. Yeah. And you can get additional ones with parental well, leave. It's 25 days, isn't it? Yeah, 25 yeah. days. <clears throat> vacay. Yeah. And if you don't get 25, your job sucks. Yes. So my job sucks because <laughs> I yes, but I you're not get... you're not employed though. No, exactly. You are your own boss, so you could plan your vacation. That's the shitty thing because yes. I'm not the planning type. So uh, yeah, for me it's it's really horrible in terms of like well I don't really if I can't really afford a vacation this year, so mm. like. I'm not taking one. I feel like your boss is a cunt, though. Yeah, mm. such a cunt. Such a cunt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty cunt. Like an Australian cunt, though. Yeah, not exactly. the, the, the good insult. Type. Yeah, the, yeah, the good kind. Like, <laughs> hey, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what you cunting about? No, yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm standing here with a shovel and just looking at you, Dick. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's doing this. <laughs> so what's my role again? <laughs> That's yeah. my impression of an Australian. <laughs> but See? yeah, no. Uh, so this year for me, I am, uh, I'm only taking the off days that I don't have anything booked. So mm -hmm. hopefully I'll get maybe... Like one or two, three day cancellations. Yeah, <laughs> <Just> <laughs> no, but like, so so I'm off Sunday, Monday, and then mm -hmm. you know maybe the Tuesday as well. So mm -hmm. hopefully stuff like that, but uh, nothing planned. And uh, I don't know. I don't really care all that much to be honest. Like I'm yeah. pretty okay with working. Working for me is holidays. Um, and like if the weather is good, then I'll just probably. Meet up with some friends and uh, have a beer after work mm. or grab some dinner with Santa. You know, there's always stuff to do uh, because I work pretty close to the center of the city as well. So it's easy to just get away and do something. But, I mean, it's still that sort of that little bit of a splinter in the back of your head knowing that you still have to work while you see everybody else having time yeah. off. Santa has five weeks off. Like, Damn. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll, we'll see how it goes, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll be a total wreck after this summer, or maybe I'll just be the same exact wreck that I am at this very moment. So, yeah. Riggedy, riggedy, wreck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Brought the, the house down. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just add a laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> Even that one is half-hearted. <laughs> but that actually sounded like a whole audience with Christoph Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's sitting there with the pink, like the fingers. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Why is that not a thing? It should be fucking should. Be. A sitcom with just Christopher <laughs> Lambert. Just yeah. like every time something happens, like yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's not even real laughing. They just like. No, they just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christopher oh, man. Lambert. Yes. Where yes. did you go, man? Where did you go? Yeah. Where did your career go? <laughs> <laughs> After Beowulf or whatever the fuck it was, was he in it? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, never mind that. That's I actually don't know what his last movie was. Nobody cares. The last time I the saw The last him. thing I remember is Mortal Kombat. That was 95. So, eh, eh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything past 95. I'm sure he did like a little guest spot Probably, in Probably, but a Highlander movie or show or something. Was there a Highlander movie made after 95? Wasn't there? There was the show. The third one. Oh, shit. Wasn't that 93, though? Maybe. Or 96. Okay, well, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Who cares? Like, I don't think I so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so, yeah, vacation time yeah. is, like you, like, you free up a lot of time suddenly. Yeah. 
and you're going to force yourself to draw or be creative and you're not going to be. No, exactly. <laughs> Most likely you're not going to be. And you're going to be like standing there at the, the starting line and being yeah. so eager to just start running. And then you have your holidays and it's like. <laughs> yep. And I think that's <laughs> and I think the important thing here is to not put that pressure on yourself to exactly. begin with, like go in with the mentality that stuff might happen. Yeah, <laughs> I might do something. But if it doesn't happen, I don't have to, like, you know, cry about it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I Just think that being is mentally prepared. I for think it's good thing. that we start there because yeah. that is something we're going to keep going back to. I think that is it what is, we're going to fall back to. That's going to be sort of it's the, the key slut take clem, away. as yes, they exactly. say in Sweden. The slut, slut squeeze. Clan, squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> yeah. So slut in <laughs> Swedish means end and <laughs> slut squeeze. Slut squeeze. Oh. Slut klemmen. Yeah. So oh, klemmen means yeah. squeeze. So oh. yeah. And then Holy you shit. put these two <laughs> things together, you swinglishify it, and you're fucked. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> yes. This but. summer. So, I have a couple of things that I want to do this summer. Yeah. Except working out like crazy. That, I so, want that's going to gonna be <laughs> the thing. It's going to be one outlet for me, personally. Even if you are on vacation. Uh, like, taking it's a, time dude, off It's a lifestyle. Mean... No, it's a lifestyle. No. It's not a... I don't, I don't work out to feel good. <laughs> Like people do. I just like doing it for, you know, both the physical attributes that you gain from it, but also because it's a lot of fun. Okay. Otherwise, I, w- I couldn't do it for health. No. Like that is boring shit. Yeah. Uh-uh. Not happening. Uh, but that's like a thing that I'm not going to cover on this show. <laughs> I'll start my other podcast. <laughs> uh, not not at, in this lifetime. But uh, And then I want to do the, the wood carving stuff. And experiment a lot more with that stuff. Yeah, and you have to start using the the epoxy. Resi- yeah, because yeah. it's gonna yeah spoil in a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, but th- I think that's a good thing. It oh, kind no, of forces it your hand a little bit yeah. to like, okay, I need to do something mm-hmm. with this because it's. But I also need to start painting because I need to understand how I'm gonna paint with the, on the resin thing. Yeah. So I need to like I need to make like some resin tests and just yeah. paint on them. Yeah, do maybe some really small frames or something. Yeah, that's what color. I thought of doing. Yeah. Like, just try to paint on those, and because I need, to, I think I need to buy acrylics. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I should have gone past Maton, mm. <laughs> uh, which is a Swedish art supplier that is closing down after seventy-two years on the market. So it conked. It really did it <laughs> fucking died yeah like covid was the last sort of nail in that coffin yeah but this is i think the first shop yeah that, that we, is like important to us to or us, that's yeah. been a part of the history mm-hmm. that is gone now mm-hmm. it's really sad it is really sad and i i, I brought it up uh, before but i felt I, I feel like the sci-fi bookstore for me is going that route like it doesn't have anything for me anymore anymore yeah which is also super sad like it really bummed me out the other Mm. day i was there and just wanted to just sort of flip through movies and see if i could find something fun and it's like you know not even one third of what they used to have oh dude it is so it's like empty and it's like two shelves (laughs) now yeah yeah but i totally get it i i get that Mm. everybody's streaming stuff now but it's just so sad yeah, because dude, that it, was like one of the highlights of, you know, my life kind yeah, of no, I get getting it. to go away, going into the old town and just sort of browsing the movies and mm. finding something and having that as sort of like, oh, I bought this movie. Let's talk about this. But movie. you also bought movies that you didn't even know shit about. Yeah. Just yeah. like this cover looks cool. Yeah. The story sounds fantastic. Like fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can't do that now because no. their library is way smaller and yeah. it keeps shrinking from yeah, yeah, the yeah. feel of it. Because it used to cover that whole section. Yeah. Or first it was in the back, you know, like in yeah, the farthest back. Yeah, in the, in the back. far back. Yeah, yeah, and that was like all of it was movies. Like yes. every shelf. Massive. Yeah, massive. I loved that. I loved it. Yeah. And it had, you know, the Asian stuff, the horror stuff, the trauma stuff, the blah, blah, blah stuff, the anime section, the cartoon section. Yeah. Like it Every had section every had f- different sections. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. And like now it, they've just compiled. Now it's, it's like on three you shelves. Got, you got all anime of it. on the one side of the store mm. where the comic books are. And then you have the rest of the movies on the other shelf. Mm. That's it. 
Yeah, it is it's, so small <laughs> right now. Yeah. And when I sort of just flipped through everything, I'd seen pretty much everything they had, mm-hmm. which is even sadder because like. How much time have I wasted in my life? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> but just super. Yeah, it just bummed me out, man. Really did. Like the one thing I kind of feel is my get, little getaway. I don't have anymore. Yeah, yeah, and that is a big blow. And that is like just because speaking of summer stuff, that is one of my things that I mm. love doing, going into the old town, uh, just sort of browsing the nerdy stuff, and then sitting down somewhere, sketching, having a beer, mm. and just waiting in you know, either a friend or the girlfriend mm. and then, you know, spending a day in the old town. I love that. Things are changing, bro. Man, I'm getting too old for this. Yep. <laughs> but yep. Uh, we're getting to the point where things are changing and Yeah. But it's like renting movies. Like yeah, exactly. I managed to do that when my kids were small. Like to like even though streaming services were, you know, a thing. I at least managed to get them to go rent a movie. Like we had that on Fridays or Saturdays, yeah. you know, where they we got would, to experience it. They got least. to experience it for a short time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh man. And we tried to rent only movies we didn't have that we could stream. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like oh no, no, we have that one. Yeah. We have that. That's available too. Like <laughs> anything else. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so difficult now. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, sorry for that sort of derail. But I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but but it was vent. on the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm thinking of going to Maton and picking up some acrylics. Like I, I don't want to use the cheap shit that I have. Uh, it's okay for testing, but if I'm gonna be able to do something with these, I want lasting colors. You know, yeah. that won't like fade in the sun or something like that. Yeah, I need light, fast colors. And that's gonna be very exciting to see how the acrylics. Oh sort my of god, no! Merge with yeah. This. <laughs> I'm just like yeah, because <laughs> I'm really like, is there a type of acrylic that doesn't look super plasticky or something like? I don't think I so. I don't know anything about because acrylic. it is. Plasticky. <laughs> like I know that's the thing. it's acrylic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. So, I know. <laughs> but oh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll try to experiment and find like a style that fits suits me. Yeah. And if I can make it sort of like I did with the with the the the, the Zelda painting. Yeah. Like that type of style where it is kind of chunky. Like if I can get that same type of painting vibe from it, I will be satisfied. Cool. Hmm. But I mean, <clears throat> but it's another thing to learn. Yeah. You know, like it's adding complexity to a four week vacation. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing, because I mean, vacation for you isn't just, you know, not. Yeah, it's not just four weeks that I get to spend however I want. Exactly. Yeah. Because you are locked in with these two little animals that are mm-hmm. like going crazy. And then having wifey that you also need to sort of keep entertained mm-hmm. in some way uh, or let her have some time off and you be with the like there's this yeah, thing yeah, yeah, that has course. to be yeah there's a balance that needs to happen there yeah so but like okay so if you had the dream vacation where like what would that be for you four weeks off i don't have that what, what would you do like that is one of the scenarios that i just don't have and i'm fine with it like i've accepted that right now i i do get time that i can do stuff with mm-hmm. i just don't have a dream because I know what my life is right now and I know that it's just for a short time yeah those little fuckers like in a couple of years will grow up and they like they're, they're not going to want to hang with us all the time yeah exactly. uh, so right now I'm just set like I'm I'm, I'm good with having them around and you know, that's doing the stuff yeah that's what I thought you would say because uh, like, I don't have like I don't have like oh what would you do if you had four weeks for yourself like I have no idea what I would do I would probably panic. just <laughs> no, no no but I probably would do nothing yeah like I think I would just do you know I would go work out I would doodle a bit I would go eat I would go train a bit I would you know like yeah like with sleep in between but yeah. I'd probably just do stuff and then just exist you know what I mean yeah just like walk around the city travel somewhere do the same things there as I do here, basically, you know, yeah. unless I found something. But I, I don't think a lot would change. I just wouldn't have the responsibility yeah. for the kids. Uh, so so they do add, like, an element to life that is sort of beyond your control. But I think they also add a little bit more pro- productivity oh, in dude, your life. Oh, dude, yes. And I think that is one of the hardest things to 
balance. Because、mm. most parents are like, "Oh, I don't have time because my kids." Yeah, yeah, but, can, but yeah, you kind of do have、exactly. time if you take the time to do something with it. You so, can if you plan. Ah,、uh, <laughs> yeah, plan. Yeah.、Uh, I think you can <laughs> if you accept. Yeah, that too. <laughs> like you only have half an hour, then the half an hour is what you got.、Yeah. Like I had a, such a hard time, like. Becoming、uh, like accepting that,、mm-hmm. like I just like oh, but if I can't draw for four hours, then I can't draw. That's it. Yeah, like that's not how life. Because that's kind of my mentality、yeah. at this moment. Knowing that oh, this this thing takes a lot of time. It's not worth me starting up the process when I'm only gonna have maybe twenty minutes to work on、yeah. this thing. Like, and the the、know. cool thing is that it is worth it because、yeah. it like. You have to stop while you still want it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah.、It、keeps and, you hungry. And, and it keeps you hungry. Yeah, exactly. And you want to come back to it. That's so、smart. in your brain, you're like, you're already planning in like, okay, but when、oh, this but happens, tomorrow, yeah, <laughs> I'll have like another thirty to forty minutes. Yeah. It's like, but then I'm gonna do this part. Exactly, because、yeah. you're looking forward to it. You're planning. Like stuff is happening in your brain. But、yeah. if you don't do it, then you have none of that. So the next time, like, let's say, oh shit, now I, like I have one and a half hours. Like damn, and what are, what are you gonna do? You didn't invest that half hour last time. Exactly. So now you have to come up with, <laughs> like, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on yourself to come up with this thing that you need to do. Yeah. Because you just suddenly, like, got so much more time, and that happened all the time when they were babies. Yeah.、Uh, where I was like, okay, I'm just gonna draw in half an hour, and then my kid slept for two hours, and you're like, oh my god, I had two hours. <laughs> you know, because you didn't think it was worth it, and then、yeah. you missed out on two hours.、Mm-hmm. Because you didn't value the half hour that you thought you were gonna yeah. get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.、Uh, so it that's is a really great lesson. Acceptance、mm-hmm. is really the key here. Like, Use what, what you, you got. Exactly.、Yeah. What can you do in half an hour?、Mm. Like, that's the there's、challenge. always something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's one hundred percent true. All right, burpee.、Mm-hmm. The fuck. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but I'm drinking carbonated、oh, yeah. stuff.、So、no, it's the, it's the salad. It's the salad. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. We had salad today. I feel like almost as as well trained as Ilias. One salad, <clears throat> but also burgers. But also burgers. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not miss the big, the big bacon burger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.、Uh, but I mean, because that's kind of what I do now.、Mm. When I when I get a, a full day off, I want to be creative, but it takes me that full day、mm, to, to start, start being crea-、yeah. creative.、And、so then, when you know the day's running out, yeah, that's, that's when, when it you kicks, start. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I normally start painting now. Say I've had the whole day. Not sort of just lazied around the the apartment. I don't normally like going out. Maybe I'll I'll go for a walk if it's sunny,、mm. just to get a, a little bit of D, vitamin D. And、uh, but you know I'll just be watching some stupid random stuff, maybe playing some video games, trying to get myself inspired, and then by around ten o'clock, yeah, I'm like, oh, I should draw something. When I should really go to bed, <laughs> and、yep. then I'm up until three, four o'clock, and、uh, then I am messed up the entire week. The entire probably. week, yeah. Oh man! But that is my normal routine, and I love that. Like that is the I think the bad part about this、mm-hmm. <laughs> is that I love that process so much. I love being lazy. I love just sort of half-assed shows on TV and sort of. Having that time to waste is、mm-hmm. such. A, I know that it's such a a treasure. Waste. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Waste. Exactly. No, but it's like、yeah. it's so enriching for me to have that time to、mm-hmm. waste and be lazy when I know that well tomorrow and you know the rest of the week is like full on. I'm not gonna have time to maybe even watch a movie this week.、Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it's business, Rob. Exactly. For the rest of the week. And I don't even have kids to blame. You know, it's just work. And myself, and then trying to spend some time with the girlfriend,、mm. like that's that's it. Oh man! But it just takes up so、I、much time. I hope we still have the show when you have kids. <laughs> like I so hope because、yeah. since we've been going for this long, yeah, 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 to like to that follow. Could, yeah, because you could go back and listen、mm-hmm. to how you didn't have time or how you perceived time. Yeah, and then you know when、and、you have to, yeah, and just compare the two like. And how like you'll be a different person again. Yeah, you know because we're never the same, and、mm-hmm. then. Like when you have kids, you kind of like have this transformation again mentally,、of、where、course. all your priorities are different, yeah, and your perception of your partner or you know everything changes once more, yeah, and yeah. you know like a relationship starting phase, and then you know like two years later, 
also a different beast, even yeah. without kids. And it's just so interesting. And we get it recorded. <laughs> that is the cool part. Yeah. Where we can go back and like, that guy was an idiot. You know, like yeah. that type of like, thing. What the fuck was he thinking? Yep. And yeah. and and it, it, it can be super cool because we missed both my kids yeah. starting this show. Yeah. But it could be really cool if that would happen. Like, you know. No pressure, Robert. But <laughs> no, no. just like, but it, it is a cool thing to be able to talk about and reflect on, like when it's happening. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you'll uh, you'll all be there. You'll all be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that scary thought. Yes, more very scary. more of me in this world. I don't know. <laughs> Can you hack it? I don't think so. But uh, but yeah. That's kind of the the answer I thought I would get mm. from you in terms of your dream vacay. And I'm drawing more than ever. That's yeah. why I, I I don't even miss drawing at this uh, point. Yeah. You know, like I do miss it like in between stuff like we've talked about before mm. where I'm like, oh, I'm going to hang with these fuckers now. But I all I want to do is draw like Midsummer. Yeah. You're just, just be there. no, but just be no, 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 but just before we left, like we like I know we're going to have fun when we get there. You yeah. Know? But my brain before we left was like can't we just stay at home Mm -hmm. and I just I can just draw yeah and then you know like we'll do some stuff and then I can sit down and I'll draw and you know that's where my brain wants to be yeah yeah well I'm I'm so often there myself Mm -hmm. just knowing that you have to do something is such a pain in the ass Mm -hmm. but I'm like I just want to be at home and I just Mm want to like if I get to stay at home I swear I'll be super creative you know no I no, mean, probably definitely not. not. But I still want to be able to make that yeah. choice. <laughs> but then, like you said, you also know that, well, once I get there, it's going to be, like, super fun. Yeah, because yeah, we were meeting, you know, people that we actually like. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. not like, oh, we have you to hang have out to with these. Yeah. yeah, we're going to hang out with these people. And yeah. they just said the same. They're like, it's so nice to meet people and just, you know, have a good time without any of the drama. Exactly. Just like, just hang out. You can relax. You and can relax, be exactly. Because yeah. that's what they said as well. Like, when we got there, they were like, oh, we didn't really plan this day properly. Like, we didn't clean or do anything. We were like, you yeah. should see our house, the, the one yeah. we just left behind. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it really is like when you can feel comfortable around people and not have to, you know, do anything to look better than you actually are. Exactly. Like, just like you don't have to pretend. Like it is, it's a really nice feeling. Fantastic. Uh, but like for me, if if I if I turn the question on myself, mm-hmm. I really don't know, to be honest. Yeah. Like if I had that time off. I, like, I would probably do exactly what I just said. Like Yeah, just like <laughs> sit around I, and maybe I would plan in a, like a little bit of a getaway trip mm. just to go somewhere to get mm. like But that's the worst thing. Like people were like, Oh, what are you gonna do there? I'm like coffee shops, n- drawing, nothing. walking. <laughs> like <laughs> London for two yeah, days. I just yeah. walked. Yeah. I just walked around. Like Same. I walked like sixteen and eighteen hours. Yeah. I did not walk for 16 or 18 hours. I walked for maybe four. Yeah, but, but I did enough. have breaks. <laughs> no, but I did have breaks. But I, I actually yeah. walked so much that I had to throw my shoes away. That's like, crazy. Yeah. Because they smelled so bad? No, yeah. because they fucking, like, <laughs> they were already in a bad place. And when I walked <laughs> in them, like, they were in a worse place. Uh, so I bought a pair of new Batman Converse sneakers. Yeah. Oh, so good. I just brought out my Spider-Man Vans. They're very nice. Spider vans. Spider vans. <laughs> Spider vans. Spider vans. <laughs> oh my god, that was just that was, too easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. But yeah, so that's why I think for me the mm-hmm. best thing is to just keep working more or less. Uh, Harder, faster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Name of the uh, anybody sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Except ours, because mm-hmm. ours isn't that good. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, <clears throat> what can you do to uh, stay creative then? Because obviously we both need to be mm-hmm. creative. We need to keep this up. Mm-hmm. So I think for me it's just having projects to do, mm-hmm. like having things that I need to get done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So having um, both the the movie and uh, tattoo poster to do is great mm. because then I always have this thing. Something, yeah. So if I did have a longer, say I get a week off, mm. 
then I could take two days of that week to really just focus on either of these two projects without having to think about uh, the blank canvas problem, you know. Uh, but let's say you don't have any of these pro uh, projects, then where where to start? How do, how do you think about even going about this? I don't know. Like, I think, first of all, like, don't try to make masterpieces. Like, forget all that crap. Like, I would say go for sketching. Buy one of those, like, A6, uh, like, like, foldable, not foldable, but, like, those bendy sketchbooks with the soft covers. Yeah. Just have that in your back pocket. And whenever, like, you know, draw objects, draw yeah. simple stuff. Like, stuff that you suck at, like, you know, flowers or, you know, leaves, <laughs> Whatever it is, just but have, yeah. like, a simple pen that you enjoy using and that sketchbook. And then just, you know, doodle. Like, yeah, it is the, the the best part of drawing is doodling. And like, really walking around and, and, like, being in new places and doodling. Dude, yes. The, that that alone, like, if you can accept it's sucking, but you're still doing it and enjoying sort of, like, the 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 act of drawing. Yeah, cause the process. I, of, yeah, because yeah. I enjoy the act of drawing. Like, there is a certain feeling when I get to, like flow around with that pen across the, you know, like a bit like rough paper mm -hmm. that I get that little yeah. scraping thing. Yeah. Like it is so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Like that feeling alone does something with, you know, like endorphins or something in my brain. Like yeah. something is being released, you know. Yeah. But and I mean, you do go into like, um, well, what was that state called in soul? Flow. Flow. The flow state. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Like they, they, mm. I think they put it in such a great way in that movie. Mm. Like that is kind of what it is. You just sort of disappear into this other realm. Yeah. And stuff just p magically kind of happens. Yeah. Uh, and, and that it, is vacation, you know? Oh, but that <laughs> is vacation. I think the only way you'll break that is if you expect it to be good. Yeah. If you go in and like, I'm just going to do whatever. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it more. Exactly. Like, for example, like, sometimes when I'm out with my kids and stuff, I'll see, like, this, like, old lamppost or something that's just, like, wait a minute, there's only one of these, mm. and it, this one is awesome. It looks like one of those old ones, you know, that just, like, they never removed it because it's, like, such a big part of this place. Yeah. And just drawing one of those, you know, if you're going to sit there and not have kids around <laughs> running <laughs> out in the middle of the road, <laughs> you could take a couple of seconds you know, to jot that down, mm -hmm. just, like, a little point of interest maybe write a little note like oh visiting this place mm. like writing is a really good way to utilize a sketchbook as well yeah little notes like a little sort of note to self you know for later like oh when you go back like a couple of months later and you're like oh yeah this was actually really nice mm -hmm. uh, or just like if you're sitting you know on like a in a park and you just see this lonesome little flower growing there like that might be worth jotting down uh, just like little things that just catch your eye that you just like would normally not reflect over like longer times you know like you you just see it there you take note and then you forget about it mm. it just strikes you because it's standing out somehow like those things jot them down yeah they don't have to be good you just create that that little memory put it in your book like just Scribble something alongside it and then move on. You know, I want to re, uh, reiterate my uh, vacation thing, like okay. the dream. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> because of, of this, the, the sketchbook idea that you just presented, mm -hmm. what I would love to do is to really take time and just focus on one of the stories that I'm doing yeah. and incorporating what you just presented. Mm -hmm. Like that would be the most awesome thing to just sort of have to really uh, envelop yourself into this story and mm -hmm. really try to just get as much done as possible but also like just yeah I'm gonna go out and grab a coffee yeah but I'm just gonna be with myself and my thoughts and have it constantly sort of touch on the story that I'm working on mm -hmm. and then I walk past that sort of light post or lantern yeah, yeah, thing yeah. and I'm like Oh, that's a great sort of meeting point. For and it's just this, like, bop, yeah. bop, you know, I get this idea for the mm. story and I sketch it down and it's, you know, maybe it is going to be a graphic novel. So I need m more visual inspirations, mm. just stuff like that. But having nice. a larger project to still 
sort of, uh, you know, like a comforter over this loose vacation sketching stuff that you mm. still do. So every time you do this little note or something, it is a progression in the story or it is, you know, it's mm. gives it even more meaning. Yeah, 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 definitely. For, yeah, for me. So I would love to have that, just get like one month, get four weeks mm. to just isolate myself and really work on one of these stories. That would be, that oh, would be yeah, great. Yeah, that would be super cool. And try to like really have a schedule that you're exactly. like, okay, today I'm going to go to this spot mm. and I'm going to do it you do the thing that I've set out to do and not, yeah. you know, get distracted, and which I mean, is, I think, the hardest part. And for me now, because I have fleshed out the, like, the basis of the story. Mm. So for me, it would, now it's just sit down and write. Yeah. So I could tell myself and do, like, um, I think it's Stephen King who did uh, six pages a day. It was mm. like, that that was his thing. And that, you know, to some people that could seem like a, a lot of work, but that's mm. also not too much. I'd say that's a pretty normal amount of, of work for a day if you just sit down and write. Yeah, it doesn't have to be good. That's that's no. the thing. You just need to write six pages exactly. and then you know, you, you can then, look back at it later and exactly. just like, this is garbage. So yeah, so that's all I have to do now. If I could set that limit to myself, mm-hmm. that would be an easy goal to reach every day for, for sure. Yeah. I would get the whole story finished or yeah. book and I would feel so fucking good about myself. Hopefully. I, I, I think that's the thing. Like if if you just set out to like you have a task, but you you don't have like a quality assurance thing, you know, like it doesn't have to meet a standard of any kind. It just needs to be done. Exactly. Like you just need to do it. That's like you, the first stage. And then we can start refining and exactly doing, refining comes way later. But getting it just done as a complete mm-hmm. thing that I can start reading again and mm-hmm. going back to and like polishing yeah, yeah you got the turd like you need to squeeze out that turd then you can start polishing exactly grab your peanuts yeah get yeah. to the peanut the good stuff the good, the good <laughs> the stuff good yeah stuff. find those nuggets <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so disgusting <laughs> these metaphors <laughs> are rubbish yes, these, yes. yeah fuck these metaphors <laughs> are shit when are they ever good <laughs> But they are literally shit. Yes. With nuts in them. <laughs> we went there. Uh, yes. But something that I want to touch on that I talked about way back when we talked about actual sketchbooks mm-hmm. is also like a sketchbook, like the like the amount of stuff in it, like is more impressive than a single good drawing. You know what yeah. I mean? Like the like when you look through someone's sketchbook, even if you it's not your favorite artist. It's very impressive to see a collection of sketches, you know, like in a book. Like it is very cool. Like especially like people that are able to fill a page from corner to corner. Like that's impressive. Sh- it is impressive. Yeah, it is. Just like people that make like they're such artists that they can compose sketches around sketches. Yeah. And it just looks amazing. But if you look at it, like, if, if you would grab the sketches and pull them out of context, they're not that impressive. No. Exactly. But it is it's the clutter. Of it the, is the clutter the of the page. Yeah. It makes it better. Yeah. And that's, like, another way to really, really, like, pull down the pressure. Mm. It's just fill pages, like, edge yeah. to edge. Like, if you see, like, a white space do in something. your – Do something there. Yeah. Like, imagine if you go to a place and you're, like, while I'm here, I'm going to add – like this page, depending on the size of sketchbook you carry around, like this page is going to consist of items or, you know, whatever from this location. Yeah. That could be really cool. That's actually And really it doesn't cool. have to be good. Remember, like you just need to put them all down on that page. Yeah. It'll look more impressive than it is and it'll feel way better than it should. Exactly. Just because you filled the page. That was the goal. Yeah. And that, again, don't stray, st- strive for like perfection in any way just learn like yeah. do little exercises and yeah it's a sketchbook I it's think not an art book yeah and just yeah that would be so cool you do that for like a full day go yeah. to maybe four different places and four do different that. places four different pages yeah just you know and and That's... you don't even have to finish the stuff there no no, like no if you get like the outline of the the, the post like the lamp post that we talked yeah. about like that's good enough. You can shade it later, you know. Or, or maybe what? you see a person that's standing in a really cool position for yeah. just a little, you know, a fraction of a second or something. Yeah. And you just, you know, jot it down really quick so yeah. you get that sort of the lean that was really cool that you wanted. Whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. 
like all of that. I mean, all of this goes without saying, mm. I guess. But dude, like when I was at the airport and I saw this like on the baggage claim thing, there was this like um like this bag with just stickers on it, you know, like like those old school yeah, ones, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. the brown ones with like all the sort of globe trotter stickers on them, basically. Yeah. Uh, not the basketball thing, uh, but just like someone that had traveled and it had all these weird stickers on it, you know. Yeah. Yes, That's like so if cool. I could have grabbed this bag for a couple of seconds. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, just gonna borrow this. Borrow this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you'll get but it right back. Yeah. I'm just going to run off here and have a photo shoot with your back. Exactly. No, but, it, but it was it's just like stuff like that. You don't get to see that all the time. No. Sometimes there's like this Vespa parked somewhere and you're like, oh, my God, that Vespa has that. so cool. Like, yeah, it, it has perfect. like all those old things, like yeah. the big lamp in the front, you yeah, know, and yeah. just like these details that you just don't see on modern Vespas and stuff. Like it's just stuff like that that you can just, you know, like – You could draw that or you could photograph that, you know, like yeah. whatever is your thing. Yeah. Just grab a couple of notes, you know. Geek like, out. Geek out, yeah. If it is a complex thing, do take a couple of photos. And, you know, while you're having your coffee later, you can just get some of those details down, you know, from your phone. Exactly. But it's just like try to grab those things. Like they'll expand your visual library. And I was super bad at this. Like I, I got better at drawing Like closer to my 30s, which I'm ashamed to say, but <laughs> yeah, but that's sort of when the the ego is starting to leave a bit, or like you can yeah. leave the the ego at home. Mm. Uh, whereas earlier, like everything we produced had to be really yeah, good yeah. because ego, and yeah, I mean you do learn that progressively when you grow up and you just start not giving a fuck, like, yeah, really going frozen on that bitch, and just fuck it. You know, it's um, it's going to be what it's going to be either which way you produced something like mm-hmm. that's what you should focus in on. That's what you should be happy about. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't be the person that kind of complains. Like, how do you draw a car? Just draw the car. Just draw the car. Just draw the car. Like be that person. Yeah. That just draws the car. Because exactly. that's how I think like a lot of good artists develop. And I think that's like Mimosa that listens to this show. She does not give a fuck. She just like, she just, oh, this thing? Okay, I'll just draw I'm just going to do this. Yeah. yeah, and I think that is your superpower, Mimosa. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I see your work, like you've covered a lot of things and you yeah. always spit them out. Like yeah. you, like for being, like you're such an awesome artist in that aspect where you're just like, eh, I don't know if I can draw this, I'll just draw this. Exactly. You know, like you don't reflect too much on if like, you can or can't do it. You just draw the thing. Yeah, and I you think know. it's it's the the Yoda, you mm-hmm. know, do or do not. Do not, yeah. So, good on ya. Good <laughs> on ya, yeah. Good on ya. Uh, <clears throat> so, what else can people do? I mean, this was just one thing that we really got caught up in. But, um, I mean, fun have with fun it. with it. And if you don't end up drawing as well, like mm-hmm. if that is your reality... That is fine. Yeah. Yeah. It is supposed to be vacation. Yeah. Yes. So that's, again, like the the first thing you need to do is relax and Mm -hmm. just fucking, because your body and brain really needs to not be in working mode, Mm -hmm. to take itself out of itself. Especially if you, like me, work with this stuff and Mm -hmm. Robert as well. Like we work. Yes, you're in it all the time. Like it's so difficult to sort of take your head out of it. Mm Mm-hmm. So for me, normally, if I go on vacation, it takes me like a full week to get into vacation mode. Yes. And that is so stressful <laughs> because knowing that, like, I know that it's going to be a full week. And yeah, it's yeah. like, so that full week is going to be, like, it's still going to be nice. I'm still going to relax and have fun. But, but there is something. There's that nagging yeah. little itch or something. Mm-hmm. And then I can start relaxing. And then it takes me another week of relaxing. And then maybe the last two weeks I'll be a little bit creative or something. Yeah, exactly. It just comes back to you. And I think downtime between projects is the the sort of where the magic happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like where you just like, I want to create. You know, like because yeah. you need the downtime. Because right now yeah, I'm going from rest. one project to another straight on. Yeah. I have to present something on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And I'm so drained from the previous project. Yeah. So like I'm I mean, so drained from the previous. So and this the, is what it, being a production artist is like. Yeah. You just get tossed from project to project, 
And sometimes you just need that downtime. I yeah. was actually supposed to present tomorrow. Oh. And I was like, I have nothing. Like, I have nothing. I was like, that project drained me. I need at least another day because in that time I can at least have something. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. right now I've only, like, Pinterested boards. Yeah. That's all I have been. And I hate that. When you get stuck in that mode yeah. as well, like... I do that quite a bit, to be honest. <laughs> Same. Uh, and I don't even create boards. I don't have anything to do. Mm. Like, I just save, like, tattoo ideas and mm. cool art stuff. That's the two things that I do, if even that. Mm. I just search for random stuff and just scroll and scroll and scroll. Like, it's such a waste of time, really. Oh, but I, I need it. Yeah. I need it to be – I need that stupid thing to but just not draw. The like, thing I is, I normally, I don't ever – like, I don't start drawing after one of those scrolling sessions. No, neither do I. Maybe the day after or the day after I that. I need them to settle. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then, like, your brain has finally sorted through mm. all of this random stuff that you've just been scrolling through. And, mm. like, well, if I combine this and this and this, bah, mm. that would be a cool thing. Yeah, let's try that. And then you do it. Mm. And then, ta-da, you got Because I have nothing right now. Like, I have loose ideas. Mm. I just can't connect them. Yeah. And I'm just going to let I, – I don't want to stress it because if I start stressing it, I'm going to just get stuck. Yeah. And I know myself, like, good enough at this point not to do that. So yeah. I've collected my boards. I've put some <laughs> images together. Now I just need to let it simmer. Yeah. And then tomorrow when I look at it, hopefully I can make some connections and start sketching something. Well, you know the the saying, like, you should sleep on it. Mm-hmm. Like, that is a very important thing because when you – well, if you can go to sleep, that is. <laughs> if you can finally sleep and sort of just let your subconscious do the work while you're sleeping, you're going to mm-hmm. wake up and there is going to be something there. Like mm-hmm. when you go to the bathroom or take a shower that very next morning, your brain is like, pop, 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 and you're going to have yeah. at least one kind of good idea. Or something at least to build off of. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it is really important to let your brain rest in between stuff and not just go full throttle like we do so many times like learn from us if you are able to that is of course uh, take that time like it is probably the the most important thing I've ever said in my entire life so do it relax sleep (laughs) weird tangent sorry Mm, no not at all not at all like, I think just sleeping is one of the things I utilize too little. Yeah. And that's when it like comes vacation to these... time is good that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been sleeping until like 930 Ooh. almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is actually good. And I have not yeah. been up late. That's the thing. Yeah. No, I was yeah. up until four doing just doodling more or less mm. and then woke up at like 10. You know, it's still six hours, but it's. Mm. It's only six hours, so I can feel my brain is, like, a little bit mushy. Uh, But, yeah, like, at this stage, I would just sleep, relax, and, like, not really think about creating Mm -hmm. and then let that happen. And I think also it depends on, like, where were you before vacation? Like, Mm. where are you at mentally? Do you work as an artist? Yeah. Or is this the time where you don't work as an artist, but you get all the time in the world to create and yeah. that puts you in the shitter again because you're putting too much pressure on this time Yeah. or like during these like four weeks or two weeks, whatever you have. But that was exactly what it was back in the day. Mm. Like if, if we rewind 10 years ago, then for me, having a vacation was the time when I could really create. That mm. was when I got to go nuts and just sort of paint all day and all night and all day and all Mm. night, you know, until you pass out and then wake up and keep going. Yeah. Like, it was the best. It was the best fucking time ever. I loved Christmas vacation was the best thing (laughs) ever for me. Because there was no excuse to be outside. No, there was no excuse to be outside. Or inside. Or inside. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's inside. You're, you're, you're just stuck inside. Yeah. Um, the the girlfriend at the time always went to uh, to Denmark over those holidays. I was left alone, like my whole apartment to myself for like two weeks straight, and just like movies, painting, and wine. 
Like that was <laughs> that was all I needed. So fancy. It was so great. Yeah. Like, yeah, a pizza. Some you know, well, a lot of junk food. Very <laughs> Italian. Yes. <laughs> wine and pizza. A pizza and the wine. You know. I'm I'm classy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just fucking love that binge mm-hmm. creating, I guess. Which is a whole different thing. But uh yeah. I, I miss those days, but I know in my heart of hearts I don't have that energy anymore. Like mm-hmm. If I can finish one thing in one sitting, I am super stoked right now. Normally, it takes me more than at least one day. Mm. So, um, yeah, we're talking two, three days just to finish the one thing. And, you know, that that in itself, knowing that makes me more, I guess, even slower. Yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. Uh, yeah. And... So, yeah, I don't think, like, yeah, for me now it would be just, yeah, just relaxing and trying to, I don't know, make something. That would be nice. Yes. Mm. Uh, but, well, yeah, now now it's your turn. Okay. Come uh, up with something. One more awesome. thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, start <laughs> one drawing that you're going to work on, on and off during Bay Cave. Yeah. It doesn't have to be done. You just need to work on it a bit every day. Like if you have something that you've wanted to do, just sketch it up, you know, start small, figure it out, blow it up, start adding to it, you know. Yeah. If it's a ballpoint sketch that you're going to be rendering for a month, like it doesn't matter. Yeah. One of those, you know, where you can just render to infinity and beyond. Yeah. And if you go too far, like in crazy with the rendering, that's fine. Like just something to put your pen and just let it flow. You know what I mean? Like – Yeah. One of those things where you, I'm going to render hair for a month now because I chose <laughs> someone with a lot of hair. Yeah. Uh, you know, just like find one of those projects where you can just work on it forever and it'll feel good. Like that's all. Like you don't have yeah. to post it anywhere. You don't have to do anything with it. It's just something that you just like when you have that creative urge, you can just go to that page mm-hmm. and just fill it out. Because we're talking about feeling good now and not, you know, trying to – the the Instagram demons or someone exactly. else wants to see your work like no this is just for you like yeah. one thing to do during vacation yeah that's also a good point like vacation should be vacation from social media from everything yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. if you have something you want to post fine but don't create like we've said for that purpose no like you have something post it you don't have something don't eh. yeah you son of a bitch I don't know who that is. <laughs> don't recognize that voice. It's that new guy that was talking on the phone. Maybe. You son of a bitch, man. <laughs> but, yeah. I had one more thing that I wanted to sort of squeeze in there, but I can't for the life of me think what it was. Mm, but that was a good to bro. <laughs> 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 like, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I felt like I've I probably said the same thing 100 times. Now. Yes, I love it. <laughs> no, but seriously, just like whatever it is you've wanted to do, just play around with it. Try to lower all the fucking, you know, expectations on that one thing, whatever it is, just down to zero. Yeah. And start there. Have fun. You know, grab a piece of wood, paint on that. Like, yeah, that, that always helps. Like, just doing... Your normal thing on a different media or with mm. different media is a great thing to do during vacation as well. You know, experiment, have fun, go nuts. Or and don't do any of or it. Or exactly. And, yeah. And, and, and live. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go to the beach, have a good time. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Alanis Moore said it. <laughs> Alanis Moore said it. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Uh, so yeah yeah yeah. I I guess that's the episode I guess just go out there enjoy create (laughs) don't create who knows who knows do or do not there is no try right mimosa Mm -hmm. (laughs) let's go (laughs) <laughs> what the free. fuck? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome sound effects oh taking us to tools. Oh my god.
I don't so, know how to cut this. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So the, yes. the, the tools that I wanted to talk about mm -hmm. last time, actually, when I was still doing it, uh, was um, watercolors. And that was uh, my my new thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I haven't been like doing the water thing for uh, a, a week. God. But we did talk about watercolors with the demon one, the demon hunter. No. Or like, was that you and me that, talking? That was you and me talking. No, I really got into the whole watercolor thing. And uh, I I just fell in love with it, really. It, it was such a fun medium to work with. And really taking the time to layer soft colors rather than go in with like really, really saturated colors that mm -hmm. I normally did. So now I, I really have utilized the, the way I work in Procreate, but on paper now with watercolor. Like it just works perfectly. So I lay in one super soft color tone and then I keep layering that. And then I go in with a very, very dark tone towards the shadows, but then just go in with water and sort of blend it out, mm -hmm. just like I would in Procreate. And it's it really turns out so nice on paper. So what paper do you use then for your watercolors? I just use like a little bit of thicker sketching paper. So I don't use like watercolor or acrylic or any type of fancy sort of paper. It's just normal sketching paper. But somewhere between two and three hundred grams. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have the, the what was it called? The one that I got from Pen Store. The, oh, the, the multi something no, something? No, the Strathmore, is that it? Oh, the boards, the Bristol boards. Bristol boards, Jesus, yes. So, like, I have that mm -hmm. paper, and that works, like, really well, but the mm -hmm. paper is very smooth. Smooth, yeah. And I want a little bit more of a grit to mm -hmm. it, so I'm using um, skin tone uh, 260 gram paper. Mm. That is like it still sort of moves and mm. gets a little bit. Or even sort of, watercolor does yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, that's it, why it's like you know when you buy them, they're sort of like glued together. Yeah, exactly. I'm just having so much fun with this mm. and doing sort of. I I feel like I'm going more towards the William uh, Puker <laughs> uh, type things, where just mm. like one figure standing in a pose, like hero pose, with some like background, like light yeah, background. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But it's just so much fun. And again, it's just like random things. Like the, the Demon Slayer one mm -hmm. was more planned out. Uh, I had seen a, um, uh, what would you call it? Like a walkthrough of the process of somebody else painting a fan art piece for Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I don't remember the name of the artist. It's on the Discord. I put it in the... Um, Sketchbooks? No, I think I put Art it drop? with uh, the tips and tricks. Oh, thing. okay, okay, okay. Because oh, he's that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now I remember which one. Like the piece is fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. And the way he it's explains complex, how yeah. he uses watercolors and stuff is also great. Like he's yeah. such a good talker, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> compared to us, he is fantastic. Um, but that inspired me to like, oh, well, I want to do my own Demon Slayer piece. And just like, other than looking at what the clothes look like and sort of how the scar sits on um, the the main character's face, mm -hmm. I didn't look at how they, like the anatomy of them, how tall, how, like all of that is out the window. I just created from my head. Uh, I used a, a reference for the actual pose so I could get that feel yeah, kind yeah. of right. But then just had fun with it. Again, like the hand that he's holding the sword with and the sword is like mm. gigantic compared to the rest of him and all that. Like it's very wonky and off. But I really enjoyed doing it that way because it put like even less stress on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it was just about having fun and experimenting with colors. So I think more or less I just wanted to get some some lines up there so I could start coloring in with watercolor. Yeah. And yeah, seriously, it's uh, I've had so much fun doing this. I mm. I can't recommend it enough if you are interested in watercolor. Go in nice and soft and just start layering and uh push that paper as far as you can. Mm. And uh yeah, just see where it takes you. 
you know, up until the point where to, it starts disintegrating. Yeah, but that's why I would recommend, like, if you haven't tried watercolor paper in a while, mm. now yeah. that you actually know what you're doing with it, like, it, it is so yeah. magical. Like, it is so much better than I expected it to be because I was like, ugh, watercolor, fine, I'll just do this since I got the paper for cheap. Yeah. And I was like, what? This isn't even the same fucking medium anymore. Yeah. Like, it is so much better. Like, the way that the paper, first of all, does not get destructed. And you don't mm. get these, like, fl- like like eraser bits in your work, you know, like or whatever the fuck it is. Like, this grainy stuff that happens. Yeah. Like, it's all gone. And you get, like, the color as you intended it. Yeah. And you can, like, apply it on top of each other. You know, once it dries, you can just go over it and you get that exact thing you yeah. intended to and i know i probably have that type of paper lying around probably, somewhere yeah. just dude, not close enough <laughs> dude, the one i bought i bought at claus Olson. oh yeah and it cost me nothing like we're talking like under a hundred crowns something that's insane for you know like the the a4 like thick pack yeah and they sell them for like 300 crowns in the in the kriatima shop like it is crazy how much more expensive they are in art shops than anywhere else. Well, they have to be. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, if you think that watercolor sucks like I did, try it on actual watercolor paper. That's, I mean, that's normally a give. Uh, I know, but I just, <laughs> like, like, never... This fucking sucks! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe don't, like, watercolor printer paper. You know? Dude, that... <laughs> <laughs> almost. Like, yeah. almost. We've all uh, done that. We know how that works. Don't do that anymore. Yeah, I, I don't think everyone does, though. Like, if you're not used to mixing, like, playing around with different mediums, like, you will not know this. So just go for the paper it was intended for. It is way better. It makes perfect sense. I know. Once you, like, sort of <laughs> get out of that mind fuck that you're in, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's why it's called watercolor paper. Like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's not, like, more complex than that. No. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that was the watercolor thing was pretty much all I had. No, so it's... I made it sound like I had so much to talk about. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, no. I expect and, more. And I actually started using those, um, uh, the pilot, what is it, micro uh, liners, the one, the different colored sort of, they're Which... not ballpoint pen, but almost. Not the erasable ones? No, nope, not the erasable no. ones. The ones that are like, they look kind of fancy. Um but they come in different colors? Yeah. God damn it. Which ones are those? I, I think they're called uh, micro or something. Oh, the micas. Mica. Is the that one a... that are like the whole thing is colored. Yeah, exactly. Like coated. Yeah, yes, like the whole. The, there's a green, a brown, a yeah, black, yeah, yeah, a yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that, those are the micas. Yeah. So I use those to outline my watercolor. So Yes, find they are very nice. Uh, uh, and they do give a little. Yeah. So you get that nice little sort of like there's something to them. That exactly. And they, they work perfectly together yeah. so it's, far. So very cool. Yeah, I use them as well when I do mixed medium. Yeah. And either I'll go, I'll paint with those, like to enforce like orange, for example, and then I'll paint, and the the marker will make it bleed a bit, mm-hmm. so it'll bleed into the shape, which exactly. gives it a nice little yeah, it sort of edge. just yeah goes into the piece in a way, mm-hmm. like yeah. yeah yeah. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to try and experiment a little bit more with this whenever I get another chance. Yeah. Uh, lately, I've like whenever I've had a little bit of chance to do something, it's uh, I'm so lazy, so I just grab the iPad instead and sketch, mm. and you know, it's more about just doing something now, like rather than actually presenting. Like we've been talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. it's just yeah, it just feels good to do something and get my mind away from work, yeah. but still doodle, doodle. Doodle, yeah. I think it's so. really important, and I kind of think that once you start doing that, it'll start, like, everything else will start going better just because you're really just, like, oh, the craft comes mm-hmm. first. And, like, being happy, creating. Yeah. And, and that's going to make, make it, it's, yeah, it's yeah, going to spill feeling, out yeah. on everything else in life. Yeah. Exactly, because you're, you're going to start drawing more, you're going to be more creative without the, f- like, you know, the pressure and suddenly you just have like 20 pieces that you've started or you know like there are different in different stages like and i think that's really good yeah it's better to do just something 
rather than do s- just one thing really, 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 really well, which yeah. means a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's why, I like, because I started the Rocketeer piece. Yeah, that was nice. It's, uh, I mean, it's still a work in progress, and we'll see whenever mm-hmm. I finish it. Um, what I've done from the last time you saw it is that I've started doing, like, some pinkish clouds in the mm-hmm. background. Like, I wanted to do some sort of contrast with that, mint greenish type smoke that's from mm-hmm. his jetpack. So, yeah, that's very cool. It's yeah. I probably messed it up. It looks kind of wonky, but at uh, this stage I'm like, eh, yeah, okay. let's see see where it goes. No oh, man. And then uh yeah, combining uh, gouache with the watercolor stuff to mm-hmm. see what happens. So, yeah, again, just having fun with it and I am having so much fun. Uh so I'm actually hoping that I get some cancellations very soon so I can start just going more nuts with mm-hmm. all of this. And going to try to find some aquarelle paper. Good. Good tip. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, I think it'll make it even more enjoyable. Like yeah. if, you, if you're really loving it now on that type of paper, it's just going to like once you – because the thing is, I forget as well. Yeah. Like when I'm just like, I don't feel like watercolor. But then you try it on watercolor paper and you're like, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the same with, like, the, such a with your brushes as well. Yeah. If you have the right brushes, oh, yeah. it's fucking glorious. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I noticed now was because I've been painting so long. And when I paint, I use three different brushes. Mm-hmm. I've got just, you know, thick, smaller, smallest. Mm-hmm. And I leave them in the water glass. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. But I use a very big water glass, so it Mm -hmm. covers a lot of the brush. Mm. And that's sort of been like the brush itself, like the the actual stick. Where you hold it. It's starting to suck the the water into it because it's wood. So it's like swelling and cracking a bit and getting... Oh, crap. So that's a little bit of an extra tip for anybody that is as slow as I am. And if you're... Like sometimes you get used to just the one brush and even though maybe you should use the bigger one, you still use the small one. Mm-hmm. Take that bigger one out and leave it on sun, some yeah. something else so it can dry and not like explode. Because these brushes are really expensive and just leaving them in the water like that, which and sometimes I forget them there for days. Oh, even, shit. You know. Okay, okay. That's probably the cracking. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they, would, they, they were cracked before that. Okay, but okay. I just realized that like I had been painting, I was so into it, and then I had to run away and like do, yeah, do life. life. Yeah. And then I came back like three days later, and I'm like, shit! Like the most like the most expensive one is still in the water, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, stupid. brushes can be expensive. Yes, they still work. Like it's all good, but <laughs> that's something that I didn't account for was going to happen because they are watercolor brushes, so they shouldn't like explode when you put them in water. <laughs> but yeah there you go watercolors tools awesome uh, watercolors are fun yes moving on moving on <laughs> it's time for the retro <laughs> yes we and robert it. has a lot of things i've seen the one thing you have seen so much more than the one two thing, things but you've uh, no i've seen two things yeah there we go so demon slayer Season one, because there's only season one. Season. Uh, so, yeah, I've seen all of it now. And, yes, it is awesome, but it's also a bit, like, predictable because, you know, if anyone has seen Hajime no Ippo, it has the same type of thing. No matter what foe he kind of, you know, faces, yeah. it's like, oh, this first he gets, like, it's going okay. Then the person like reveals his super move, and mm-hmm. he has to figure that out, you know. And then at some point during the fight, the turn happens, you know. And then it's every time like it's yeah. that same thing. This one has the exact same thing. It's the breathing techniques, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, but now I need this and this, and I need to breathe like this." Like every time, the same. Yeah. All good. Like you don't care. Like it's fine. It, water technique, exactly. second water stand. breathing, second stance. Oh, yeah, exactly. Water breathing. Yeah. yeah, water breathing. Yeah. Or, and, and how do you breathe water? <laughs> <laughs> Drowning technique, <laughs> second step. <laughs> 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 but yes, then there's like 
episode five or six, they introduce the dumbest character in <laughs> anime history. I don't remember his name. Which is the reason, stupid character. Yeah. That's his name. Oh, yeah, that's right. And he just ruins everything, like a lot of everything. <laughs> like he's just there screaming and, and being, being annoying. Annoying. So annoying. With no comedic, like, no. R- release or, like, added effect or anything. Like, it's just Maybe for, annoying. like, super tiny kids. Oh, yeah. Like, like you dropped your child and he just laughs at that because that's the only... Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the, this character is so dumb. Yeah. He's yeah. just dumb. Like, I have nothing. And he is, like you said, like, every time he shows up, I see him, I just fast forward. Yeah. That's not something you want. Like, he no. makes Jar Jar look like, you know, the best character ever. Yeah. That's, that's what and I, I can see why people like Jar Jar like when they're young because it's yeah. like a stupid character that kids will like get drawn to because he was made for kids. But this character was made for no one. He was made for hating on. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> now, I'm hoping that he has this awesome S- redeeming arc Dude, of some sort. Because there's two states to this character without ruining the show. There are two sides to this character. One is epic, yeah, and then there's you know the the one that ruins the, the show, yeah, yeah, the 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 the, the Jar Jar times a hundred, mm-hmm. and it's just so bad. Like, imagine if Jar Jar was screaming the all the time, time. Yeah, yeah, louder that, than yeah. anything else that you had to turn down your headphones to be able to withstand. Yeah, that is actually a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy so shit. goddamn annoying. Yeah. But it is the biggest minus of the show. It really it is. is. And yeah, I think so. I, that, I that mentioned it biggest. before when I, when I watched it that I was so close to just not continuing the show because of this character. But That's, once you realize you can fast forward yeah. and not miss anything, you're it, good. Yeah, exactly. So just fast forward that character because yeah. he's dumb. Save yourself yeah. the hassle. Like you could have written this character in so many ways. This was yeah. not one of them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. But uh, but all in all, it's a good show, right? Yeah. Yes. I haven't seen the movie. No. I was trying yesterday mm. at midnight. I put it on. I fell asleep immediately. I, I remember them walking up on the train. The end. Yeah, that's kind of what I remember. Yeah, <laughs> and that was <laughs> and basically. I remember the... some of the end as well. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> but no, I remember liking it. But I also I do need to watch it again because I was half asleep mm. while watching it. Uh, but it's just another episode, but in movie form. Yeah, yeah. So you got better quality animation stuff. The story is a little bit more. Oh, man, there were some moments like, at the end there when they were fighting in the forest that were epic. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, yes, this is what I wanted all along. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I do love the whole merge of different styles. Yes. Like when he does the reveal. water. Shh, it's, a reveal. it's such a great. It's in the fucking title thing. <laughs> yeah, it's in yeah. the title thing. Yeah. Just, it, I mean, if you see an image from the show, you're going to see it. I didn't yeah. know. I was just <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's so great. As soon as they did the, the backstory with the dad, I was like, yes. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it happened. I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I just like didn't know I could get excited for something I al- already had figured out. Yeah, you know when it just happened. But yeah, <laughs> you can get more excited. Yes, and you should. But yes. yeah, no, it's definitely one of the better animes out there right now. I think, uh, and I'm hoping season two continues on in the same uh, mm-hmm. epic feel to it. And less so of the in screen. four or five years, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll get, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to run forever since yeah. it's popular. Yeah, uh, but uh, cool. Do and you then, want? Oh shit! Your notes. I was like, do you want me here for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go through them really quickly. No, I'm just kidding. You yeah. go. It's it's. Uh, oh, I did by the way see Luca. Exactly. So I'll say my thing and then I'll be quiet. Yeah. And just try to bother you while you're <laughs> <laughs> and extend this. I'm just. But gonna... I saw Luca, uh, the Disney movie, and it was great. It was actually great. It, it doesn't have that like Frozen thing like the epicness of frozen you know like it had such a big impact on the world yeah i feel that luca is really good the story the points that they're trying to make they're great but it just doesn't have what it takes to sort of like stand out and you know make every kid in the world sing its songs it doesn't have songs yeah yeah Uh, but thank christ uh, (laughs) (laughs) but it just doesn't have that like that 
Yeah, I don't know what to call it, but that whatever Frozen did or whatever Aladdin did at its time or like the Lion King, you know, like it's just, they don't have that. No. Whatever it was, maybe it was just us being stupid, you know, like at no. a time where – No, but I mean like at a time where movies were magical, you know, now yeah. we know all of the behind like, Beauty stuff. and the Beast won a fucking Oscar, dude. Like, yes, but <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, it just doesn't – they don't carry like that. Yeah. Like Soul was great. Yeah. But do you remember Soul? No. No, like, you remember, remember the cat. F- yeah, you yeah. remember the cat, some comedy, Pizza. flow, yeah. and, you know, that's, that's it's it. just like they're not as memorable. And maybe it's because you don't watch them enough. But, yeah. But Luca was beautiful. Like the way that the characters like evolved, their arcs, they're cute as fuck. You know, like it's all great. Like it's really, really nice. I even shed a tear tear or two, you know, like it was oh, really, yeah. it was really nice. My daughter even asked me like, did you cry? <laughs> like condescendingly. Of I course. was like. I was like, it was sad. Like, <laughs> yeah, my of kids are assholes. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. my kids are dead inside, like my wife. So, <laughs> we'll see where that comes from. Uh, <laughs> it's so dark, but it, but it was it was great. Yeah, like I enjoyed it. I recommend everyone watch it. I don't have that much more to say without spoiling. So, just it's beautifully animated. So I uh, I boring. will watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, I was not gonna watch it. It didn't feel like. But but, but 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 I probably wouldn't have either. I was just a bit curious how where they would take the mermaid theme or mer creature. Yeah, <laughs> the merse. Yeah. Uh, so and and they did good with it. But again, like. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, it it, it looks good enough. It it is, it is, but. Um, all right. Um, uh, I'm gonna rush through this <laughs> I mean it, it's eh, it's not that special really. it is like special I feel like I hyped it up too much um, no, no. no yeah. I have I have some shit to say about some shit and then um, yeah well cover us in your shit man let's do let's do the shit so I uh, introduced Santa to uh, Doctor Sleep which is the sequel to, to The Shining. Shining yeah and the book no just kidding so this was the second time seeing this. You saw uh, it at the cinema. Yeah, and that was the only time that I saw it. And mm-hmm. then I I have wanted to rewatch it many times after. I didn't really like it at the cinema. That's why I wanted to see it again to see like okay maybe I'll I'll prefer mm-hmm. it now. I did not. It's like if you've read the book, I don't think the movie does it justice at mm-hmm. all, and it really at. For me, it, it was just disappointing. I quit the book. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't quit books. No, that's that's also a very sad thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it didn't become better after the second viewing, mm. and it's been a couple or like at least a year since oh, it came dude, out. Oh, dude, it's more than a year. So yeah, I didn't didn't really enjoy it. Uh, the obvious one that I have watched, if you've stayed tuned to the Insta, is The Rocketeer, of course, which still is awesome. Because it was always awesome. It's uh, it's such an easygoing movie. the mm. The theme of the whole thing is just so like lighthearted in a good way, and it's got that Indiana Jones type of action feel to it. Yeah, the matinee. Type yeah, exactly. Of feel. It's such a great, great movie. Mm. It has uh, a lot of famous people in it, doesn't it? Yeah. That you yeah. just like, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, shit, that, yeah guy, that guy and that, that guy, guy, yeah, yeah, exactly that. Uh, I I was. Almost had the name of the the lead bad guy, which is I think one of the bigger names, and it just disappeared. He he played James Bond for like two movies. Timothy Dalton. There you go. Thank you. Yes. Uh, well, you said two Bonds. But mm. I mean, it, it's it's a guilty pleasure type movie because it's not like fantastic as in it's gonna get a billion Oscars. It's just very for its time though. Yeah. It's it's a lighthearted. It's a very sort of Disney type movie, you know, uh, mm. back in the day. Disney adventure, real time movie. Definitely recommend it. If you haven't seen The Rocketeer, you need to see it. It's one of the the ones that you Dude, have to watch. It's one of those that you rented for the cover alone. Exactly. And having watched that, I had to see The Shadow, which <sighs> they kind of go sort of. Like with each other, time? yeah, it's the same period in okay. in in time. Might need to watch both those because it's just I don't know. There's something sort of romantic about that era, mm-hmm. like the 30s, and it's just awesome. Uh, I don't know why these movies didn't become bigger than they are. 
I know they're like very good sort of um, uh, what do you call them cult classics now. Yeah. But yeah. but I mean they were good when they came out. Yeah, but it's not that they I became think... better with time. It's just like they were all yeah overshadowed pun intended I guess by <laughs> something. They weren't though. Like I think when it came to like Big Trouble, they didn't know what to promote it as. Mm. Like the, the like it wasn't a thing that. You know, that was accepted or whatever but you want to call it. I mean, Big Trouble it. is something extremely different. But oh, it's it, just it these is. 30s type movies. Even The Phantom. I mean, The Phantom is not the best of examples, but it is but a it 30s. way later, though. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still a 30s movie. Like, it's set yeah, in yeah, the 30s. Yeah, it's set in the 30s. And it's just, I don't know. It feels like that specific era isn't something that sort of generates a lot of public Maybe it's just me think overthinking. Yeah, I think it, you're but, overthinking. Yeah, but I, Anyways. I don't think it has to do with the era of the movie set. It's just that the type of movie when it came out. Like I think that is more like closer to what might not be marketable at that stage. Yeah, <laughs> you sounded a little bit like a robot then. Yes, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had to. <laughs> like, back up, back up, up. There's. <laughs> awesome. Be poppy. I have stuff. But uh, yeah, so The Shadow and The Rocketeer, obviously. I do have some w- very weird notes of The Shadow that I won't do this time around. See if I can do something with those later. Uh, I also saw The Naked Gun that just got uh, released on Netflix. Mm, if that you, classic, uh, yeah. If you haven't seen that, that's. Oh, my God. That's How? the humor from when we grew up, mm-hmm. like the most extreme of American type humor. And it's awesome. Like, Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. I Is mean, it... I just kept laughing. I'm probably more nostalgia than anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it... how like... <laughs> Politically correct, is it? <laughs> it's, it's not. not right. <laughs> no. I'm just like trying to think. Uh, oh man, yeah. Like he's he's uh, followed this girl home, and you know they're into each other, so it's like I guess consensual. consensual yeah. But so she's like she's going up to grab something from the attic or some shit. I don't mm. know. She's going up a ladder, and then he's like looking up. Obviously, she's wearing a skirt like up a ladder, and he's like, "Ooh, nice beaver." And then she sort of turns around and then hands him a stuffed a beaver. Stuffed beaver. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, wow, this is really beautiful. <laughs> but just stuff like that, you know, it's so not right, but it's yeah. just perfect, you know. And Leslie Nielsen is oh, yeah. a His genius. His delivery, yeah. Yeah. And actually, O.J. Simpson, who is in this movie that you might oh, have forgotten. He, he's a cool guy. He oh. is. His like comedic timing is also fantastic. Like his stabbing, very on point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, 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 on point. Damn. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'd say definitely, uh, you know, get together a bunch of people, grab some beers, and just watch this movie and have fun. Laugh at it, not with it. I guess. Yes, yeah. I guess that's where, <laughs> where this movie is. <laughs> Uh, then I watched True Lies. I know I've said that before, mm-hmm. probably, but uh, yes. I started watching the new Ragnarok anime show, and I can't remember exactly what it's called. Oh, shit, the tournament yeah, 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 something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever. It's it's a, um, it's sort of Mortal Kombat with gods and Yeah, when you started talking about it, I was like, that sounds like the plot of Mortal yeah, Kombat. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. And it's just, I feel like it's a reason for them to reinvent some gods. So, like, in the first episode, spoiler alert, they have Thor, God of Thunder, fighting this. Like, I have to look at this show yeah. now just because. But it's, uh, I don't know. It, uh, it's it been done and done and done and done and done and there's so nothing many new times. This, yeah. No. Yeah, I think I've seen this it's a while like, back. So the premise of this is they're going to have a, a tournament between men versus gods and the winner like if uh if man wins will be able to live for another thousand years without being uh disintegrated more or less by mortal the combat yeah. yeah just watch that yeah get some lambert in you and then <laughs> yeah mortal combat 1995 enjoy that's it. all you need yeah don't don't watch the other one um I watched Neighborhood Watch. 
I don't know if you remember. Oh, that, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, where they find that alien exactly. thing and they blow up the cow and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had forgotten how much fun that was. Like, it's such a stupid movie. Oh, yeah. Now I remember how it ended. Ben Stiller. Ish. You got, uh, yeah. well, pretty much the whole Ben Stiller type crew. More oh, shit. It's not Owen Wilson, but. Shit, was it Ben Stiller? I thought it was Adam Sandler. No. Nope. No, fuck. It's Ben yeah, Stiller. Ben Stiller, Jonah Hill. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Yeah. And also that. The guy uh, from IT Crowd. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know his name. I never knew his name. I think he's so from New Zealand. Or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That might be something. Anyways, great yeah. humor. Awesome cast. And yeah, I was laughing so much. Uh, it hurts sometimes. Like, it's just. Again, perfect comedic delivery with these top-notch actors. And if you haven't seen The Neighborhood Watch, check it out. It's it's more fun than you think it will be. Mm-hmm. Uh, also watched Ex Machina, finally. And uh, very strange movie, very slow-paced, but also very good movie. So, like... It it took me, I had to sleep on it and then woke up and then I really felt like, yeah, I really like this movie. So uh, definitely check it out if you are into slow-paced sci-fi. But I think it's like she as well because I watched mm-hmm. them basically after w- one after the other. And it is a, like it's a, a movie about feel. Like it yeah. feels a certain way when you exactly. watch it and it's, you know – it's eerie, it's, like, discomforting, like, you feel weird, like, things are said, exactly. and you're like, what the f-? There's something yeah. in the atmosphere constantly. Exactly, there's, like, this like pressure. Unease. And, yeah, unease, yeah. that was the word yeah, I was looking exactly. for. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and uh, I mean, you have these three extremely great actors just acting off of each other, more or less. Exactly, Poe Dameron creates. <laughs> Poe Dameron, <laughs> the, the, the semi-Nazi dude from, oh, from same, movie. same movie. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what was his name? Yeah, that's the weird thing about this movie is how their roles are reversed. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> so Poe Dameron is the asshole here, yeah. and the other guy is more innocent. Yeah, fuck, I don't remember. Uh, Crux. Crux, General yeah. General Crux. Yeah, yeah. Or so. yeah, that dude. And then uh, Alicia Vikander, uh, Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> Just to sort of yeah. jump in there. Yeah. But uh, fantastic movie, like uh, such a low-key, great sci-fi type movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, deals with a lot of existential stuff. Uh, before I jump into the, the, the latest... Uh, release of geekiness. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Civil War movie from Marvel Civil War and uh, how fucking fantastic that movie is. And watching it, it really made me realize the like why the DC movies are not getting any sort of good recognition mm, at yeah. all or working. Uh, sorry, we we have people outside and they're sort of messing up my, my, my brain, brain my brain flow <laughs> but uh, no all pretty much all of the Marvel movies have some in some way shape or form heart like mm-hmm. there is some love between some character in there and you can really feel that connection in those movies yep. even if it is the shittiest of Thor movies or whatever it is Hmm. There's always that little bit of heart But there's an established connection between the characters, definitely. between a lot of characters. And then because there's so many movies and this universe has become so big, you feel even more for them because they get Hmm. to flesh out these characters before the big, big moment. I mean, Civil War is late into the game. We've already had two Avengers movies prior to... Civil War. And we've Captain also America had the list. Captain America Winter Soldier one. Winter that, Soldier, yeah. So we've really established so much between all of these new characters mm-hmm. uh, and old that you... you. I mean, it's like watching a TV show, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. And then now with the TV show, you get more of Winter Soldier and Falcon and all yeah, these more guys. More of too. their backgrounds. So and, yeah. when you watch Civil War, and I really recommend you go back and watch it now after, if you've seen the whole thing, and just, like, enjoy that shit. Like, it is so good. It is insanely good. It's one of the best movies I've seen 
fuck, I don't know when I saw a movie this good. Mm. And this is after having seen it probably 10 times or more uh, prior. And now watching it, it really just, because of the universe again has expanded so much, this is incredible how good it is. Plus, mm. again, just the introduction of Spidey again. Yeah, yeah. oh my, that, that, yeah. just that alone is it's, so epic. It's so yeah. great. But, um, but so... DC, on the other hand, they don't give a fuck about anything. Like, the characters in the DC universe... I mean, even... You have Bruce Wayne and Albert. Uh, but, Alfred, yeah, sorry. Alfred. You don't even feel them liking they're each other. They're not even... A, yeah, you know, and even. that's that's Bruce Wayne's dad, more or less. You know, he's been with him his whole life. But there's just no connection there. Mm. Uh, maybe they've filmed it or edited it in a really weird way, but it just don't feel it. And you don't feel anything for anyone, like not even the characters that are supposed to be like closer. No, like Diana and Batman do have, you know, something outside of them being superheroes. Yeah, and there is nothing. <laughs> no, there is no then, like. No, and even like the love for uh, Trevor, you know, like her love interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not. It's not there, yeah. you know. You don't, you don't feel it. So that is definitely the biggest thing. Like, if DC could just try to get a little bit more of a feels into it, yeah, that would. But their characters—they're all like so bland. Yeah, and they want them all to be so tough. Yeah, all oh, the yeah, time, yeah. so tough. We're and, gonna be the dark. Yeah, Durr. and it just sucks so many decks. Like it's so bad. Like, uh, and I actually. Maybe I noticed a little bit of a hint or a, a tribute to a Kevin Smith thing in Civil War. Civil War. So I don't know if you remember this scene, but it's uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. They're sitting in a car. Oh, and, and yeah. He's yeah. like, can you move your seat up? And he's like, no. You know, and it's just this dry. Mm -hmm. And it really cements the whole show, I guess, Winter Soldier show. Mm -hmm. But they're in the, like, the Winter Soldier is in the back of a Volkswagen. So, like, I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> but I just, don't I don't know. know. I connected some dots there and I was like, holy shit. Like, he's just uncomfortable in the back of a Volkswagen. Like, maybe that is a subtle... Maybe, maybe. Kevin Smith maybe. tribute. Yeah. I hope it is. Did you Google? We, I did not. I, I always throw these things out without looking anything up. Like you all know, I never know the names of anybody, and I'm always very retarded when I talk about these things. That's a good word to use. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want another shovel? You need help digging? If they believe him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not yes. helping. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? A after... Birth? No, after after creating? being, after yeah, after, after being. being. I don't know. Believe in. Believe in. What the fuck is that? B becometh. Becometh. Yes. <laughs> after. Becometh. After becometh. There you go. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. So sorry about all of this. No, he's not. Uh, but the latest and greatest that maybe some of you want to hear and review about is uh, Batman: The Long Halloween Part. One. Uh, this just just came out uh, when we're recording this, so it's, it's one been of those out. Warner for, Brothers, exactly. Animated Batman movie uh, about. Well, it's based off of the very very popular book, The Long Halloween. Uh, it's really dark. It's really gritty, but it's also a very deep sort of detective ish type. Which of the animation studios is it? <laughs> Uh, the good ones. Like they're... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. This is good. It's got a, like a little bit of a particular style to it. Mm -hmm. But I actually think even you might like, uh, maybe not all, but some of the fighting mm -hmm. in this. It's very cool. Like very, they're pushing the limits mm -hmm. with yeah. a lot of the perspectives and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It. It was a lot of things they put into it. I understand why it's a two-part movie because mm. there's too much to cover. So it did kind of lose me at some stages, you know, in, at least in the beginning of the movie when they're, like, opening up all the different plot points. Um, but all in all, it's a great, another great Warner Brother animation Batman movie. Mm -hmm. And 
I really, yeah, I I can definitely recommend this one. If you do like the the other ones, like the Red Hood or um, oh, Red Hood, Son of Batman, it, yeah, Court of Owls. If you like those, then you're probably gonna enjoy this one too. Mm. So I guess that is probably the better tip up today. And uh, yeah, I do like. I had a lot of different notes with the whole Civil War thing, but the 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 main thing was really just. I don't know. It it's so like obvious, of course, that is the thing. But I hadn't really thought about it until it just hit me that time mm-hmm. when I was watching Civil War. That like, well, Civil War. The premise is obviously about everybody around the Avengers getting hurt, mm-hmm. and how much that impacts. Well, the how how much the Avengers impact the world, and like it's a big subject to tackle. And then you have this Civil War within mm-hmm. the Avengers and it's just such a great deep movie but do they um, ever like what is the like I don't remember since I haven't seen it in a while now but like what is the learning from this you know what I mean because they do realize that oh shit when we attack this building mm-hmm. like this happened like yeah. these people died everyone died so I mean and the... then they start squabbling with each other but do they ever take consequence the consequence for what they did Do they ever come around to that? So I guess taking the consequence for what they did is probably the people that signed the accords that feel okay. kind of guilty and feel like they should be kept mm-hmm. under check. But Cap is like he's been around with the Nazis because that's the theme of this show, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> and he knows what being controlled means. Yeah, you know, so he has a whole different way of looking at things. Obviously, he's a hundred mm-hmm. years old, and. So it's like, like, do they actually learn? Yes, they get like a a big kick in the ass. Like, you guys need to wake up because you're what you're doing has consequences. Uh, but it's also like it's pretty cool how Iron Man and Cap sort of switch roles here, mm-hmm. and you feel like the role that Cap should choose to be like, yes, we should work with. The UN, the, U, the government. Yeah, it's like 177 that. countries that hmm. signed the accords. You know, so it's it is the whole world wants to unite with the Avengers. Hmm. Uh, so he jumps on it because he can really feel the impact that he has. Like you can see the devastation yeah. has impacted him and stuff. Uh, and and then you have Cap, who is like, no, I'm just gonna straight up rebel this shit. You know, I. I'm not gonna be controlled because mm. I know what happens. Then you're gonna say yes or no when we need to go out and save or like investigate or mm. you know whatever. And he's like, nope, I'm gonna be my own dude. So he chooses to become an outlaw and disappear from the mm. map, you know. Uh, and it's I don't know, it's it's a heavy movie in that way. Mm. Like, but to answer your question, like, do they learn? Probably not. <laughs> they <laughs> keep, the, they yeah. keep doing their shit. But it's just like I like that they bring that up, mm. and that it is sort of shoved in our faces too to be like, mm. remember that you know they are super powered and all of this, but they're killing fucking people. You know Around they are. Them, yeah. How good are they really? Like they're so fucking, you know, self-centered. They just go there, beat the bad guy, and go home. They don't yeah, yeah. like. They don't stay around no. and pick up the pieces. Like, yeah. Yeah, but it's like I, I like how it's touching upon the boys. Yes, like exactly. in a different way. Like, sure, it's not Disney covering their tracks, but no. they're also not sticking around to see what happened. Exactly, and that is it's a it's a cool thing. I mean, that really set the bar for Marvel movies mm-hmm. from then. Like, on. imagine if they stayed in Segovia and just like help clean up, <laughs> clean up. Yeah, I mean, would that be so hard? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were beat up like crazy. But, you but know, yeah, they could have recuperated and then gone back. You know, I think mm. he even um, Simo even brings it up in the show. Spoiler alert! Oh yeah, he does mention something uh, about that. He's like, "Have you ever even been back mm-hmm. after?" Like, you know, so yeah, that's yeah. still a thing. Like, have you even seen the monument? And wasn't that who yeah. wasn't it? Was it in Civil War where the bad guy is someone from Segovia? Like that is him. Simo. That is him. That was yeah. yeah that yeah, was so him. Okay, he okay, is okay, the okay, main. Okay. Yeah, he is the main. Okay, okay, cool. Pro- or antagonist for. Yeah, that for is them. true. That is true. I just haven't seen it in years. That I just don't remember. Yeah, 
No, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that that makes sense. It really is one of uh, one of the greatest superhero mm-hmm. movies ever. Mm-hmm. Also, with the great roster and all of this, like it's and something you said outside of the show when we were eating was that you get a newfound sympathy for Bucky again, yes. like that yes. just like gets. My uh, notes more... started out with exactly that. Yeah, um, that I mean. So seeing the show, uh, you you really get to sympathize a lot with him, mm-hmm. knowing what he's been through and all the shit that he has to go through. And then you go back to Civil War where he is still under control by this these mm-hmm. words, you know. just yeah. Somebody could just go up and say those words yeah, just, and then they can straight up control him, you know. And, it's, and you are still aware of both your personalities yeah, yeah exactly like he is awake during all of this but he can't control his body mm. like how fucked up that has to be is mm. beyond yeah it'd be more of a comfort if you couldn't remember it exactly or like couldn't see it in front of you because yeah. he says it like and it's so heavy too in this in, in Civil War mm. because um, when spoiler alert he finds out or Iron Man finds out that he actually straight up murdered his parents. Yeah. He's like, do you even remember their faces? And he's like, I remember everyone, you know? And it's like, he yeah. just, the, the way he emphasizes that, it's yeah. so heavy. Like, he's like, dude, I know. Like, I I didn't want to do that, but I have to remember all of this shit. And uh, yeah. like, there's consequences to that as well. Like, mm. it's so heavy. And the movie straight up starts with him being sort of mind tortured and electrocuted and shit. And again, having seen the Falcon Winter Soldier show and then going back seeing that, it has a whole different impact. Like, it's mm-hmm. great. It's so great. So I'm loving how the the Marvel Universe has become this like gigantic thing where everything is so mm. interconnected now. That's pretty cool though like going back and seeing how things connect mm-hmm. for the first time and that they've stayed true to all yeah. of that and not just gone bananas even with the WandaVision show mm. it's still tied in with all of the rest of all of, of course, these things. Yeah. It's, and all their experiences up to that point as well. Like, yeah. It's cool. Uh, it's so it's mind bogglingly good. Yeah. Like, I think also just seeing WandaVision and then going back to like uh, Endgame and Infinity War mm-hmm. as well just getting that yeah. piece back. Because you, you're getting that here because in, uh, in Civil War is the first time you really see them sort of mm. getting a little bit cozy because he's guarding yeah her he's guarding her from and, and yeah like he's trying to make that paper cash dinner thing mm-hmm. for her and stuff like you can see there's something there they're building you know? something yeah. there yeah and that's also it's cute it's good again mm-hmm. feels mm-hmm. like yeah man no but i just got so caught up in it and uh like it's crazy how much feels they can get across mm-hmm. in these movies it's superhero movies man they're yeah. it's a purple robot you know but you still feel for him Mm. when when he goes like fuck i cried like a baby Mm. it's so heavy that scene dude that whole ending was just insane Uh, you were just like what what the fuck happened you know and then you you get to see the behind the scenes and it's just like she's standing there like screaming and they're they're improving that whole scene like they they don't have a script for it it, the, script, you write that? the script only says, yeah. like, she destroys the Mind Stone. And then the Russos just went up and said, uh, sell it. Like, just do it. You're actors, <laughs> yeah. you know, you, you have and it's skills. Like, <laughs> we're we're going to make it happen, but you mm-hmm. guys do your thing. So they can straight up improvise that whole exploding the, the head gem Mind Stone thing. Like, ah, man, incredible acting. Yeah. Fucking... Fucking Marvel, man. I'm sold again. Yeah, might need <laughs> I was to over it, but I'm just thing. back yeah. in it again. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Civil War, people. Civil War. It is, yeah, by far one of the best superhero movies, according to good old Rob. And that was the retro. Sorry. Very cool. <laughs> and it's almost two hours in. <laughs> and a full short episode. summer episode. Yeah. <laughs> 150, bro. 150. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Had to do a retro. But, and uh, surprisingly, this episode is longer than the last episode. <laughs> there we go. 
Yes. 150. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a lot to cut out. So yeah, we do have I'm, a lot. I'm sure it's, I'm so it's sure like it's 145. Short. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Very good, though. I, I kind of liked your insights on Civil War. Okay, good. Like, now I want to watch Civil War. That's Actually, I, I just want to go back earlier because I haven't seen the two last Iron Man movies. I've only seen the first one. Oh, dude. So yeah. you haven't even seen the introduction of Black Widow? No. Damn. That's why I asked you, where the hell does she get introduced? That makes sense now. <laughs> 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 yes. And for anybody that didn't know, yes, Iron Man I, 2. I, I actually, the, the movies that I haven't seen are Iron Man 1, 2, and Thor 1, 2. No, you've seen Iron Man 1. You mean 2, 3. Oh, I meant 2, 3, and, and 1, 2. Yeah, of the Thor movies. Because yes, I saw part of Thor, <laughs> and I just like, no. Yes. I am good now. I feel sated. Yes. <laughs> I, all my, my Thor wants have been sated. I wanted the first to say five minutes. <laughs> something about you just seeing part of Thor. Yeah. Yes, I and was not being, impressed, no, so I moved on. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you brought that up. I feel that yeah. it adds so like, some 3D depth to this Definitely. <laughs> feeling yeah. that I have. Yeah. <laughs> you are here. You are here. You know, no. Inside no. joke. Inside very joke. Bad. Let's very leave bad. it there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we got yeah. that out. Yeah, we did. That was good. <laughs> Which also kind of makes this joke even more fun. It's horrible. God damn it. It's <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you guys Again. so much for tuning in. <laughs> Sorry for the, the crazy summer. retro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, man. this is actually a normal episode. It, so I know. You I don't know. have to excuse our normal episodes. I just feel, yeah, I was so caught up, like, hearing the people talking outside so much. You listening might not have heard shit, but it, it was so loud in my head. Yeah, that it is I loud. I couldn't sort my thoughts yep, from each yep, other. Yep. So, like, it gets way crazier in really our heads. It yeah. gets, yeah, it gets, like, jumbled in a way. So, yeah. I don't these microphones to... are just too good. Yeah, that's Because the, the thing is, when you take them off... You don't hear shit. You don't hear them as loudly no. as you do when you have the headphones on. They, they pick up everything. What the hell? And it's great. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. So, um, 150 episodes, man. Mm -hmm. It's insane. And here we are. Yep. Doing it the same insane. old fucking thing. <laughs> it's so Again crazy. and again. Yeah. Let's get those sponsors. <laughs> yeah, it's working on it. Yeah. No, I really, I want to uh, do better retro sessions because that yes. is my my passion. passion. I really yeah. love doing stuff like that. So I want to try and script more and really oh, actually well, do is, a little bit more research with some of the movies that I mm -hmm. have watched. So uh, that is something that I will promise for after summer and stuff. So maybe I'll do sort of a back catalog with different movies mm -hmm. and actually have written down stuff. Uh, so that's something to look forward to in the future. Also, we're going to do like a summer retro special. With... Uh, we haven't decided on what we're going <laughs> to see da, da. yet. Yeah, like yeah, we, exactly. we, we had a couple <laughs> of movies that we threw out there. One of them being Highlander, I think. Yes. Because no one has seen Highlander in a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're and, only yeah. going to watch Christopher Lambert movies. Yeah, apparently. we should. <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Willow was Willow another. was one. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Haven't seen that one since it came out. Yeah. So uh, maybe, or maybe we could do both. Or maybe one. we could just, yeah, yeah, the 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 Willow Lander special. Willander. 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 That's the thing. That's, That's the what movie. we need to watch. Yeah. The Valander. Should we watch the, the, the Swedish you. or the <laughs> Kenneth Branagh? <laughs> or one. we just watch Willow or Highlander. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> just like, do not watch that movie ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. The there's Willand. the young Willander yes, as well. Yes, the young yeah. Willander. Oh, my God. There's so many Wilders. <laughs> the wild, wild land. There can be only or, one, Elias. Yeah. No, there no. can be like 75. Yeah. Apparently. If you count the Swedish ones. <laughs> like, there are so many. Yes. Willander. Willander. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here now. Yeah, skedaddle. I'm, I'm fucking sweaty. Yeah, I, let's not I do another go. episode no. and just go home. Yeah. Yep, so yep, 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 yep. Like every, <laughs> <laughs> like three weeks now. We're going to record an extra episode next, next, time, next time. Next time. Next time. Next time we need to do one maybe. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Discord, hashtag, Sketchbook Heroes, everywhere. Everywhere. Tell everyone. All the time. All the time. Never Up stop, and down. Never yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank listening. You. We're out.